Welcome to Dawncraft. I'm sure you guys know a little bit about this mod pack, so let's get straight into it. So first, we gotta pick our class. So we have the warrior here, just a normal roll. The Ronin, I heard, was pretty good. You guys could read through it. I'm just gonna go through all of them, just so you guys could see them or pause the video. right and i've already decided on a class and i'm gonna go with the lancer just for this ability blocking and parrying and dodging lets you stack revelation and once you max it out you can unleash a nice counter attack which is actually really good i'm sure there's a uh, better ones but i really like the lancer so i'm just gonna stick with that all right let's take everything out this chest i got a new helmet nice plus one other reason why i use the lancer is because i do like to keep my distance in this mod pack since the combat is very different now let's go ahead and head to our first village and go ahead and grab this though there we go i'm also gonna need some coal and let's go ahead and claim all of these quests pretty sure it's just explaining how the game works so it's something really crazy you guys could read through it if you want path to power trinkets the combat and tips for fighting and it's some extra stuff so these just explain your skills improving gear and stuff and your diet which is really important as well and i'm just realizing how far this village is so this might take me a while I found a shipwreck on the land what's inside the chest we got some some armor okay rope and a bunch of other stuff that i probably don't need so i'm gonna go ahead and eat one of each of these foods because as you can see down here there's food diversity if you guys don't know the more diversity of food you eat the better stamina and stuff you get i'm pretty sure so eating different foods helps your uh, stats increase oh i got frost walker okay and for my first quest i'm gonna be needing paper to find the pillagers so let's go ahead and make some here we go oh my gosh okay all right buddy Okay. Oh, I don't have stamina. And he's fast. Here we go. Here we go. That was kind of close. There's a pillager bow right here. I don't know if I should steal from him because there is reputation in this game. Want to learn a skill? Okay. I need 20 emeralds. Yeah, I'm broke. I'm open to chest. Screw it. Ooh, fishing rod and some food. I really need to head to that village because it's getting late. I have no idea why it's so far. Thank goodness I have frost walker. Yup, here come the mobs. These guys seem pretty friendly. What is that? Okay, maybe not. I want this waystone. Oh, the village is right here. Thank goodness. All right, I found a village. Nice. I just need to go to the guild master so I could claim my first quest. But first, let me sleep in. I can't search any of these chests because I don't want to ruin my reputation. I'm going to be needing that bed. Thank you very much. Now I just got to find the guild master. I have no idea where he's at. I'll be taking this waystone. I actually can't find where the guild master is at. I'll be taking this iron though. Oh, I found a goddess statue. Wait. A horn statue. Oh, I see. I think this is the guild master. Yeah, that's definitely him. And Bowser's castle is right behind us. Hey, man, come over here. I have no idea why. Okay, anyways. Welcome. Would you like to take on your first quest? Oh, my gosh. Okay. Thank you. It looks like I won't be able to find the eyes in my current conditions. Come back once I've killed 10 pillagers. Speaking of eyes, there's supposed to be this mob that spawns next to you in the beginning of the game. So that kind of explains like everything in the lore. So I hope you guys aren't mad at me for missing that. But hopefully you guys already know about that. But he basically explains that I have to kill the ender dragon and get more hearts and stamina, blah, blah, blah. Nothing crazy. So I have to give him a piece of paper so he can show me where the closest pillager camp could be. So here we go. We got some paper. Paper. Now I have the map. Should also be marked on my map. Here we go. 800 meters. That's like back at spawn. I might check out that castle. Hopefully there's pillagers there. But before I do anything, I need to make myself a place to stay at. What in the world? The Goblin King. Oh, this is the Goblin King's place. And I'm pretty sure that's one of the first bosses I have to fight as well. If I do remember correctly. But I'm not ready for that yet. So there's no point in thinking about that. But first, I'm gonna have to make my house. So I'll be right back once I'm done. Okay, I got done with my house. But there's a werewolf at my door. And I don't really appreciate that hopefully i can fight him from here oh i can't even touch him oh my gosh but you can touch me look at this dude yeah i can't even hit him through the door at least i got an idea hopefully it gives me more space to hit him oh goodness i can't even touch him yeah i can't even touch him that's not fair all right i'm gonna go ahead and craft myself an iron chest plate now i should have a better chance of going out there and fighting him right go out here we go all right I'm dead. Okay, I'm good. Not too sure if I mess with these shaders. Let me go ahead and change them real quick, right? Oh no, I'm actually dead. Yep. Alright, looks like I'm just gonna have to fight him outside. Alright, he's coming for me. 
I got it. Don't worry. No, I do not got it. Oh, they fighting each other. I hope the zombie wins. Oh, he died already. Never mind. Let me go ahead and pick up my crystallized experience. Didn't really give me much. Oh my gosh. How do I get rid of this dude? Oh my gosh. You know what? That's it. Come here, man. Alright. This is not working out. Dodge? Or not? Here we go. Finally. Alright, some of my loot dropped, so I kind of have to stop dying. So, the more I die, I'm pretty sure the more loot that drops out of my inventory. 18 levels. What in the world? I didn't expect to get that much back. But since we're done with that, finally, I need to go ahead and make myself some more armor. And then craft a backpack, so I could go fight those pillagers. And then my first quest will be completed. Let's go ahead and kill these cows. But first, I'm gonna breed them. There we go. Now I'm gonna need your guys' letter. I just need four pieces for the backpack. Okay, I only need one more. I'm gonna kill the ones down here. It's like, I always breed those guys. There we go. I'm also gonna rob your wheat. Thank you very much. Now, all I need is some wool. I got some shears, so there we go. And I'm only gonna need four string in the chest I have at home, so let's go ahead and craft this backpack. Oh, I found a goddess statue, which is used to upgrade your hearts and stamina using spirit orbs, which you get from quest, I'm pretty sure. And there's also structures around the world, which makes you do parkour or puzzles, and they give you uh, spirit orbs. So that's gonna come in handy later on. For now, let's go ahead and craft this backpack. Now we can just go up here, put it on. I'm gonna make some extra food and make myself an iron concave edge halberd. Let's just call it an iron halberd for obvious reasons. It's not too hard to craft. I just need a pole. You need hill from letter strips and sticks. Pretty easy. You guys get the point. Boom. There we go. Now we make the pole and then we craft the halberd. There we go. Now look at this thing. It looks amazing. It does 13 attack damage as well. And it's pretty fast. Now I need to go mining because I'm pretty short on iron and I'm just not where I want to be at right now. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, this cave seems uh, friendly enough. Oh my gosh, what just happened? Here we go. There's a goblin guy. He looks like he's trying to kill me. Oh, oh no. What in the world? Why are they getting knocked back so far? What enchantment do I have? Is this guy good? What do you... I'm right clicking you. He's not a goblin trader. So I'm guessing I could just kill him, but... He's not doing anything, so it's whatever. I'm really here just for some iron. Oh, I come here, dude. Dodge. Boom. Dodge. I could block as well. Oh, no. Okay, I'm good. Right, we got some iron right here. Thank you very much. Okay, this cave is mad deep. I'm not gonna cap. I should have brought a water bucket with me or something. All right, let's collect all this iron. Thank you very much. All right, I think I just say screw it and go all the way down. There's a ton of mobs here. Yeah, I'm just gonna run from... Oh, my gosh. Okay. All right, I'm good. Oh, boy. And there's some demon guy over there. I do not want to mess with him. Uh. Oh no, he's coming to me. Oh no, 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 no. Okay, not ready to fight you, man. I think he forgot about me. Thank goodness. Oh goodness. I just want some iron, man. Dodge. Dodge. Here we go. There we go. Just let me grab all of this, please. Thank you very much. All right, let me go ahead and challenge this monster box because I know I'm better, so. Dang, I lose a lot of stamina mad fast. I think it's the weapon. I'm not too sure though. Okay, there we go. Is it really the weapon? Oh yeah, that's taking a lot of stamina. I don't know if it takes up that much for every other weapon. It's another one of these guys. Could I parry? Or not? Maybe only certain attacks you could block. I'm not too educated on this mod pack, so I hope you guys understand. And if you leave some advice in the comments, I'll definitely reply to it. My goal for this episode is to really just uh, upgrade my gear and complete my first quest at least. There we go. I wasn't paying attention, but I think they dropped me a ton of iron. So these monster boxes are really nice to grind. Oh no. And I'm starting to pay attention more to my stamina because I realize it runs out really, really fast. So I actually got to pay attention to how I swing my weapon and when to swing it. Oh goodness.
Here we go. It gave me a zombie head. I think it's better than what I have. And ancient crystal fragments. And it summons crystal spikes. Oh, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and try that out, actually. Oh, I think I have to smelt the cobblestone. Never mind. What in the world? Alright, let's see if I got it. Dodge. Alright, it's not that bad. Oh my gosh. Maybe I lied just a little bit. Here we go. Hey, Goblin Trader. Go ahead and smell all my iron for me. Thank you very much. And copper and gold. Okay, this guy is so useful. I actually love the Goblin Trader. Whoever made him, I actually appreciate you so much. Let me go ahead and combine these two because this is about to break. 60 iron. That's way more than enough. Oh, goodness. Oh, that's a pillager. Hopefully, he counts for my quest. I'm sure he does. Oh, goodness. This is not good. All right. One out of ten. Okay, good. Looks like I'll be dealing with them right now. I do want to craft some armor real quick, though. All right, let's go ahead and do that. Fast, fast, fast. There we go. Put these on. That's two. Can't really dodge from this. Okay, I could take a few more shots. There we go. Base arrow damage. Okay, that's gonna be really handy. I'm ready for more. Keep spawning. And there's a chest under this as well. Oh, goodness. What in the world? Why is that thing attacking the pillager? Why is it invisible? I mean, I'm not complaining, but I kind of need that kill. What are you? Uh, hello? Thank you. Let me put all this stuff in my bag. Right, charge up. There we go. Wait, oh, I killed the wrong person. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. That guy was actually helping me out. 7 out of 10. Okay, I can't die here. There we go. Alright, just a few more pillager. Wait. Oh, it's, it broke. I think that was the max amount of pillagers that could spawn out of this. I'll take the loot. Ooh, okay. I got a bunch of cool stuff. Thank you. I'll be taking all of this. If anything, I'm going to be wearing it too. Melding. And I got mending on these boots. I mean, I'll just hold on to them for now. And melding, I don't really need that. So I'm going to put on the projectile protection boots. I got a bundle. Ooh, that's nice. I just realized it's a default iron pickaxe. It's not even supposed to be here. But hey, I'm not complaining. For some reason, I feel like this pickaxe breaks faster than this one. Like, look at this. Yeah, that's way slower. I can feel it. That's pretty weird, especially since they're both iron pickaxes. Now, I think it's time to get out of here because I still need to kill more pillagers. Okay, I found a, a skeleton spawner. And this one looks a bit special. I can't even... Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm trying to kill it from here. What in the world are you? It looks like I got something else to focus on. Oh, I think those are diamonds right there. Ow. Does he have thorns? Oh, and he's regenerating. Oh no, yeah, I'm not dealing with him. Placing this waypoint here. I want those diamonds though, at least. Water buckets are overpowered, so I'm just gonna abuse it and go ahead and take these. Thank you very much. I could probably kill him from here, actually, since he's just sitting there. Yeah, he definitely has thorns. I should be able to tank some of these attacks. He's still healing. Can't let him regenerate. And you're dead, or not. Now you're dead. What'd he drop? He didn't drop anything. All that for nothing is crazy. All right, let's go back here. I don't think the guy is here anymore. So hopefully I can sneak in. That's definitely not him, but I'm just going to block this off. It looks like there's no spawner. Is there a trap or something? No. Oh, okay. Water. He's definitely strong. Oh, there we go. That was easy. Helmet, shring, nothing really crazy in here. I'm guessing there's one in this chest too. We're not. All right, looks like that was pretty much it. I'm gonna go ahead and fight this monster box. Drums begin to echo in the distance. Something's telling me uh, something is coming. That guy is definitely special. Oh my gosh, that's not even fair. Oh, he just killed him for me. I see something on the ground. I think that's a book and I kind of do want that book. Give that to me, thank you. Chainsaw, it's nothing crazy. Bone blocks. Oh, I see some diamonds. And of course, it's not going to be easy to get them. Alright, this guy is actually just spamming his bow. 
Thank you. Only one diamond. Well, it's all good. I'd grab some obsidian, but I think my main goal for this video is to just kill enough pillagers. But to do that, I can't die. This is really bad. I'm going the other way. Why is there so many mobs? It's so over. Come on. Come on. Oh, no way. I can't bleed to death either. Don't let me bleed, please. Oh my goodness. I'm actually surprised I survived that. Ooh, diamond helmet. Oh my curse of reduces your maximum health by how much oh my gosh this looks amazing though i actually deserve that after surviving all that all right let's go ahead and wear it i don't see a difference in my health maybe it's does that over time or while i'm fighting what yeah i don't really see a difference just know that i'm not going through that path again i low-key just need to go to my waypoint oh my gosh oh that scared me really bad all right i'm almost here let's go back home now i can fall asleep now that we're done with that let's go ahead and smell some of this stuff and upgrade some of our tools there we go and i think my armor is fine how it is i should be ready to fight those pillagers i'm gonna go ahead and bring a bed so i can set my spawn at the pillager place just in case i die and get obliterated and also i should be able to upgrade my backpack now so let's go ahead and turn this into an iron backpack just like this then we turn this into a gold one, I'm pretty sure, yep. And the next upgrade is diamond, but obviously we're poor. But this is still a lot of storage. That's actually a ton of storage, oh my. I might also find a horse on the way there, so I'm gonna go ahead and take the saddle and horse armor. Kinda wish I had better foods, but I should be fine with my bread. Now let's officially head out to the pillager camp. Okay, I found some goblins. Wouldn't hurt to kill them, right? Let me see if parrying works. Oh, it does. Okay, only like sometimes, it looks like. Oh my gosh, I don't have... I'm actually getting obliterated. And he just killed his own teammate. Good job. Nothing really much in here. Nothing in this chest as well. All right, let's go across the ocean. Hopefully I find something interesting in the water. Okay, that's a sea guardian. I don't want to mess with him. What's up here? A skeleton spawner? Well, you're pretty much useless. What's in here? Buried treasure. Okay, a bunch of stuff. I'll take most of it. All right, that's pretty much it. There's a ship right here. Don't know if it's a pillager one though. Yup, that's definitely a pillager one. So I don't even have to go over there. Oh goodness. All right, it's time. All right, sneak attack. If I could attack. There we go. Just need one more, but I'm still gonna kill every single pillager here. Cause what's the fun in just killing two and leaving? All right, let's go up. I'm gonna search this chest. Ooh, about five armor points. I don't know if it's better than my diamond helmet. Time to lock in. These guys aren't really doing much to me. Pretty impressive. There we go. What's in here? Oh my gosh, eight armor points for an iron chest plate. That's actually insane. All right, let's put this stuff up. And there's a bunch of gunpowder and TNT and such. I will be taking all of it, actually, just in case. Who knows? All right. Oh my gosh. Okay, those are vindicators. Okay, I got to get in the water. And they're going to come in the water, too. I should be able to... Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's over. Oh. All right, I got this. I can hit them from underwater. Okay, perfect. There we go. I think, yep, there's another one down here. There's two more. Okay. Can I move? <gasps> oh, no. Yeah, I'm dead. <gasps> okay. I'm confused. Is there a spawner or something in there? If there is, then that's going to be impossible. What's in here? Uh, nothing much. Wow. I really went through all that trouble just for there to be no loot. Yeah, there's nothing really... Oh, something too crazy. I'll take the food. That was pretty much it. And now it's time to go back home. All right, I'm officially back home. I got to put all this stuff away. I'm taking some of the foods, though, for my food diversity. Just going to take one of each. But anyways, let's go say hi to the quest master because I'm officially done with my first quest. Yo, was good, man. Use these to get your first upgrades from the goddess statue. Good luck on your journey. And he wants me to talk to some of the guards here if I want to learn some new skills. So he gave me four spirit orbs. Map to the ruined keep, the goblin king's hideout. I mean... I'm guessing this is it. Yep. So let's go here and we could get more hearts or stamina. I don't know what's more reliable at the moment. I mean, heart, I'm guessing it's just one heart and stamina. I'm kind of like slow. Mm. 
Screw it. Let's go with stamina. Here we go. Now we got plenty more. It's not bad. So maybe next episode, I'll focus on getting more diamonds and upgrading my weapon to this diamond concave edge halberd. Because that's definitely going to be useful for the Goblin King. And my armor, I'm not too sure what I should be doing with it. I'm sure iron is fine. Maybe I'll just repair it and that should be fine. Maybe get some better food for it. Or I'll just keep exploring and finding better armor. Kind of like this chest plate. So yeah, next episode, we should be fighting the Goblin King. If you guys enjoyed, please like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day.